astroguys.com, and I thought with the November 13th through 14th total solar eclipse coming up, which is going to be visible over the South Pacific and over Australia, we would take a look at some of the odder aspects of this eclipse and take a look at some different vantage points in the Earth-Moon system where you might be able to see it. So to this end, I ran these simulations in Starry Night. The ISS is unfortunately the International Space Station is not going to have a very good vantage point, nor are they really equipped to watch a solar eclipse. I know they did catch the transit of Venus. I think it's the first time uh, earlier this year they've actually ever done an observation of the sun from the International Space Station. That was more of kind of a G whiz thing. There's not really any good shadow transits during the partial phases of this total, total solar eclipse. And this eclipse is going to be passing the international date line. That's why I was saying it's uh, coming uh, over the 13th and 14th. Not a lot of populated areas are going to see this one. It goes over the area of Cairns in, uh, in Australia. And other than that, it doesn't really make landfall. I know there's a few cruises that are going to try to attempt to catch it. However, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, may catch a brief partial about a day prior. I ran a simulation of that. And very interestingly, the European Space Agency Proba 2 spacecraft, which also observes the sun, may catch uh, some deep partials, and it might catch a total on one pass. Very interesting to run these simulations. These simulations are ran, uh, you'll see an overall looking back from the moon, where you'll see the umbra and the penumbra of the moon cross over the surface of the Earth. That's run in 3,000 3, times normal speed. Otherwise, the video would be a couple hours long. Nobody wants to watch a simulation for a couple hours. Uh, and the satellite ones are one about 10 times faster, 1 300 in speed. So you kind of get an impression exactly what you're going to see from those vantage points. Now, we're going to be doing a big blog post on this total solar eclipse, how to see it, where to see it, where the live broadcasts are going to be, and any other historical or odd uh, fascinating facts about this eclipse. So take a look at this video and enjoy.